Hi, Hi we're, we're Reach, Reach and, and you're, you're watching, watching Lindsay Klein's Homegrown Spotlight. Welcome to the DHA Homegrown Spotlight. I am with my friends in in a metal <laughs> in Metal Nine Rebel Nine. It is so Metal good Nine. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> it was like the wrong seance. I picked up what you were throwing down and then I threw it out differently. But anywho, they say that you know people kind of keep the people around them. The company that you keep is what you are. Sometimes good people keep good people around them. Right. You hear what I'm going with? These guys, <laughs> right. you, we all know the same amazing people. We and, do. It's, um, it's a very, very tight-knit circle. When DJ got in touch with me, he's like, I know this, this, this. And you weren't like name-dropping. Oh, yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was completely name-dropping. But you were name-dropping like the most amazing people. I'm like, all right, I don't even have to listen to your music. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, I mean, that's, they're great, that's great how bands. we hooked up, though. Like, we were Absolutely. watching all your video blogs and like all of my favorite bands. So it was like... You know, we should probably get on that show. Yeah. <laughs> Even just like to hang out with another other But that's band. how it works. And um, it's nice to finally meet you, is my point. Thank you. It is our honor to be here. <laughs> very nice. You to guys meet. have been very awesome in your emails and very enthusiastic. And that always makes me look forward to coming in and meeting somebody who, who wants to be here. You know? Oh, and we did. And you were very accommodating because, uh, you know, just, just trying to schedule like and stuff. Heart. Yeah. Well, and they I drove mean, away. With shows and music mm -hmm. and, you know... Uh, and recording and stuff like that, it's not always easy to kind of come up with a, a schedule when you can do stuff. Uh, like with, like obviously, we've only got three quarters of the band here, and like, I mean, I, I, he's gonna watch it eventually. But honestly, I think it's honest the three most important members. <laughs> it fit in this room better. <laughs> well, we've actually done you a couple of really interviews. You guys were really comfortable. It's nice. Well, he's he's <laughs> he's actually gonna be doing an interview with us soon. Like, and he's really excited because he keeps missing out on the interview Aww. stuff. So right he's point. excited, and we're thinking about just like not even showing up, but just feeding <laughs> <laughs> him, to throwing him into the fire. Now you guys are—you had this name before the Atlantic City um, establishment. I don't even know what it is. I, I will not speak whatever. its name. <laughs> so let's just say um, you guys have had this name for longer. So where'd you come up with it? Uh, well, we are in no way uh, associated with uh, Revel in Atlantic City. In <laughs> fact, uh, you'll be hearing from my lawyers as soon as I have enough money to retain one. Um, Revel 9 actually goes back a ways. Uh, we were called, uh, long before these guys joined, uh, we were in a band called G. Davey. Uh, if you actually look at some of my guitar cases and stuff, you'll see like a G. Davey sticker and then a Revel 9 sticker right over it. <laughs> That's the way bands operate. Yeah. But uh, we were a little bit more poppy, and so we had a more poppy name. But when we started doing heavier stuff, uh, when we did our last record, The Razor Blade Diaries was a little darker than pop. So we ended up doing a name change. And uh, we actually fought about it, the band members and I fought for months. I thought it was going to be simple, like, all right, we'll just change the name of the band, but it turned into this, this knockdown. Oh my God, it's like naming a child. It, 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 it would have been right? easier to name a child. <laughs> You know, because with the band, like people don't realize the oh, yeah. logistics. You can't have the same as somebody else. Well, there's there's that, but like the logistics in, in naming a band, it's like you have to have your website, you have to have your Facebook page, right. you have to have like legal stuff, you have to print up merchandise. Like, like we were playing shows without a name, which is ridiculous. Come see us. Right, right. Come see us, and you can't us. find us anywhere online. Like, no. Afterwards, <laughs> look know, up us. Right. And so we were still doing the G Davy <laughs> stuff, but I mean, we had a record coming out, and if okay. we didn't have a, you know, I mean, we had the name of the record, but we didn't have the name of the band. So where did Revel? It was. It's actually a silly story. My my old drummer, um, he was like, "What? What about?" I, I insisted on a number. Like, okay. Because it, first of all, like trying to find an original band name now is just unlikely. I mean, you know, like we could be like, you know, Mother Two or you know, Last Stand, like another stand Dad. for Lucy or whatever, you know. Another stand. <laughs> like all creative and stuff. But so we insisted on a number, and then um, my drummer was like, "Well, it's taking so long. Like, what if we just did like Reveal Nine? And I was like, "Yeah, if we were David Copperfield, like that'd be fine." But it sounds really stupid to me. But then we just shortened Turned it down to Revel, and I was so worn out from the fight. He was like, "What about Revel?" I'm like, "Fine." <laughs> Texted my bass player, who was. Uh, he was in Mexico. I was like, and he was like, "Don't, don't, uh, don't call me because it's international rates." I'm like, "This is important. Like, say yes or no to Revel." He's like, "Fine." And, mm. that, was, and that was it. He came back. We were Revel nine. All right. Then those guys left the band. <laughs> I got Tony and Kaz. So how long have you guys been a part of the band? Oh, let's see. Uh, for about six months now. Oh, newbie. Fresh. They're they're brand oh, new. Fresh, exciting. Yes, yes, we're excited <laughs> too. You can see the excitement, right? It just exudes from me. Like, <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> 
I got them actually half price. I, uh, <laughs> Craigslist, a wall of McDonald's. Like, we're, how did you guys meet? <laughs> did Big you guys know each other? Me. Did you come on board together? Yeah, no, I mean, I, oh, I've boy. been out in the scene and just watching, uh, hanging out with the Midnight Mob like a bunch of times. And one night they were having a show for uh, Catastrophe's birthday, which was their drummer, and Rebel Nine was playing that night and got to see them. Um, thought they were awesome. great. I thought they were great. And uh, no, no, they were they were really good. They stood out to me, and I was just like, wow. I was talking to Mickey, who's from Midnight Mob, and I was like, wow, you know, how'd you meet them? And they're like, oh, just from the scene. DJ's really cool. He like he's everywhere. He's on top of everything. And I was like, wow. So that it got my attention. I just started watching it. I've been in other bands um, with Tony Paston, the drummer and the also, and you know just. We, we came from another band that was uh, speed metal and you know got to tour Europe and everything but then the singer quit at like the worst time when we came back from the touring and they expected us back and they wanted us back for like this festivals and everything and the guy just met a girl in Croatia and married her and brought her over here and then quit the band and we were like really and now you're gonna quit so three years later that I'm searching for someone that could even just sing a little bit, you know, just nothing. We get people from Craigslist that are like, reply if you're serious only, but and then when I call them, they're like, oh, well, I have no gas money, so I can't get to you. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> that's great. So um, one day, uh, DJ posted something looking for a drummer, and I was just like, I, I had a jump on it. I was like, dude, I called him. I was like, I got you. I got you a whole band. Let's get this on the road. Let's mm-hmm. just do this, because I saw what they did. I know how into, into everything he is, so. It was just like an easy, is an easy move, and then trying to figure out if like uh, coming from speed metal to heavy rock was gonna work and everything. And went to the studio and right off the bat, it just made sense. Right. It worked. The chemistry is great. We so have, have you guys time. gigged all together? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So it's been a big six months. Yeah. Well, we actually I had shows on the calendar. And like the, the remaining two guys okay. in my band had quit, and like like you said, like I basically just picked up a band in one, uh, just all one swoop there, which is nice. funny because I'm the new guy in my own band because they were uh, all in a band all together. Right, all right. But we had shows on the calendar because um, we're a working band, so like we okay. always have, like we're always like four or five. So months are long, you so. guys? You are working on new music. Yeah. Are you guys a part of that, or is it all DJ? It, Sorry, I didn't. It is. <laughs> Right. Is, oh my you're, god, I'm you're sorry. You're the one working out. I'm clearly not. <laughs> right. right, well, when, when the band, when, the, when my old Tell band, <laughs> uh, I, I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Tony, take over the interview for me. Uh, so basically, when the, when the rest of the band, like I had all the material, and when the rest of the band sort of deteriorated, I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to find like an entire band. So I just started recording the record. So by the time I met these guys, I had everything tracked, ex- except for like a couple of things. And, um, you know, like we're going to go in and like fill in a couple of, of things. But the album was, was pretty much recorded. It's okay. been in. Who's your producer? His, his name is Paul. He's um, he's a, the guitarist for the band Cage Z. Oh. Paul. <laughs> like got Paul like pushing. All right. Paul. No, that's cool. Because some um, bands do it all themselves. Some guys take it out. So I, I, mean. I don't. I, I, I tell bands this all the time and a lot of them tell me oh yeah no we take a lot of pride in the fact that we don't use a producer and I'm always like you know the food fighters use a producer like like you want somebody else you need in. somebody mm-hmm. else you, I hear too, you. you need yeah, you so need so, and it happens to me all the time like it's always funny whenever I would have these pre-production meetings with my producer and stuff it'd be like I get off and like wow free kick in the teeth with that conversation because you work really hard on all the song you're like really proud of it. it's like look what i made and they're like tearing Boom. it up and giving you an f yeah, and putting it yeah. on the refrigerator overall it's, it's like, a good thing i know it's hard but, it but you need to be able to do Agreed. that to promote your websites where people can see you guys have a lot of dates they have a lot of dates so definitely um head to okay to find out well <laughs> we, we did almost everything with a rebel nine on it so that's cool almost uh, we got Revel9.com is our main site. That's R-E-V-E-L and the number 9.com. Even though on Facebook, like I spell it out, because they won't let you have a 9 as your name in Facebook. You can still find us at uh, Facebook.com slash Revel9. MySpace, I guess if you're in Eastern mm. Europe, .com slash Revel9. <laughs> Twitter.com slash Revel9. The only one that's not, oh, Reverb Nation slash Revel9. Revel Google Revel9. Right. The only one you can't find is YouTube because I screwed up when I set everything up and I'm just, I have uh, too much other stuff. So that out. one is YouTube.com slash Revel9 band. 
I hear you. Hear don't it. even get me started on YouTube. I'll get it fixed one of these <laughs> days. When- I, I don't know how to do it. I messed up too. Rebel 9, new music coming out in tons of dates. So go support them. And thank you guys so much for making the trip out here. Thank you so much for having us. 